This customer has brought his car to us with a bad milk smell. He was drinking milk when he dropped about two pints of it. He's soaked right through and gotten right into the thick underlay under the carpet. He's tried to wash it out, but let's just diluted it and spread it around more. It's not the milk you can smell, it's the bacteria that feeds on the milk. The milk provides a food source, and as long as that source remains, the bacteria will thrive. The bacteria that's feeding on the milk can then itself become a food source for other bacteria. Before you know it, the whole car can stink and the whole car is contaminated. It's one of those things that can get worse and worse. So the quicker you get this sort of thing sorted out, the better. In fact, it's best if you bring it to us to remove the milk before it begins to smell. To remove the milk, we're using an extractor, which you might know as wet vac. Although we're diluting the milk, we're continually extracting it so we're not spreading the solution around. We're going to repeat this process three or four times, the aim being to get as much of the milk out as possible. The next stage is to treat the area with bioactive enzymes. These enzymes are going to compete with the bacteria for food, eating all the milk, and then once the bacteria has starved to death because it's got no more milk to feed on, the enzymes will then eat the bacteria. These sprint enzymes have many advantages over deodorants and strong antibacterials. They don't leave behind a strong smell and they don't trigger allergies. And they're completely safe. Generally, they only eat dead and rotten organic matter. They're very similar to biological washing powders, except there's no powdery residue and they're specifically designed to target this kind of problem. So they're not going to damage your fabrics. We won't be drying the carpets after we've shampooed them. The enzymes work best when it's warm and damp. They also take a little while to work, so we'll allow the car to dry naturally while the enzymes carry on doing their thing. We're using an air tool which is going to push these enzymes right deep into the carpet. They will work their way through anyway, but doing it this way just speeds the process up just a little bit. The customer can now take the car away. It smells much, much better, but those enzymes are going to carry on working for another day or so. In about a week, we'll give the customer a ring, make sure the smell hasn't returned. If it has, they can bring the car back to us and we'll repeat the whole process at no extra charge.